I am Devashri Gargil from BMS Department of Changu Kana Thakur Arts, Commerce and Science College. Here I would like to present a topic on factors affecting HR policies and barriers to effective implementation of HR policies and uh, ways to overcome uh, these barriers and reward strategy. Moving to the next slide. Here we are going to st study first of all what is meant by human resource uh, policies. Human resource policies are nothing but statement of human resource objectives, provides uh, broad uh, framework for making decisions on uh, human resource matters, lays down criteria for decision making in the field of HRM and also covers all the functions of human resource management. Moving to the next part. These are the factors affecting uh, the HR policies, implementation of HR policies into the organization. So number one is philosophy of management, the type of workforce. Uh, union objectives and the practices, financial position of the enterprise and labor laws of the country. So these are the various factors which affects the HR policies, effective implementation of HR policies into the organization. Next is what are the barriers for the effective uh, implementation of HR policies that we are going to study. So if there is no proper procedure for the implementation of HR policy, de definitely it will become difficult to implement the HR policies into the organization. So point number one is lack of procedure. Second is if there is no proper channel of communication, the effective the uh, implementation of HR policies is uh, HR policy is not at all possible. So second point is lack of proper communication. So if there is problems in between the uh, um, uh, employees into the organization which will get resulted into the conflicts it will create the another effective barrier for the implementation of uh, the hr policy next is reluctance uh, people are not ready to accept immediately the newly formulated hr policies so if the reluctance is there then definitely the effective implementation of hr policy is not at all possible Variation in, in observation of the policies. It is necessary to understand what are the various contents, what are the norms and conditions of the policy. But if there is variation, then definitely policies cannot be implemented into the organization. Um, it is necessary to know what is the review and overall uh, the contents of the policies. So that is why it is necessary to understand what are the rules and regulations for the policy. If there is lack of review and the revision into the HR policies, then the implementation of policy is not at all possible moving to the next part now it is necessary to uh, overcome these barriers so what are the various ways to overcome the barriers into the organization there has to be appropriate number of the rules and regulations into the HR policies so that they can be properly communicated to the employees into the organization. So proper review has to be done and revision has to be done for the HR policies into the organization because of which the uh, implementation will become more easier. Next is uh, evaluation of the HR policies into the organization. Proper evaluation has to be done and it, it is necessary to understand the impact of the HR policy whether whether the HR policies are beneficial for the employees into the organization or not because for every function for example recruitment and selection then uh, wages and salary administration uh, employee uh, performance or performance management into the organization for every function into the organization there is organization or human resource policy so it is necessary to understand what is the impact of the implementation of the HR policies into the organization so proper evaluation has to be done another important part is there has to be uh, support from the HR managers and specifically support by the HR principles what are the various principles of the organization that has to be studied the it is necessary to understand what is the attitude belief uh, and as well as the behavior of the people into the organization because of which HR policies can be formulated effectively and can be implemented now the next part is reward strategy what is the meaning of reward strategy? Reward strategy means designing and implementing the reward policies and practices which are likely to support the organizational objectives. Designing and implementing the various reward policies and the practices which are likely to support the uh, organizational objective. Next is what are the aims of the reward policy? What is the basic objective of the reward policy? So the first one is to foster the development of high performance culture. 
so if uh, we are giving rewards to the employees then definitely there will be competition healthy competition among the employees into the organization every everyone will uh, start working hard and uh, definitely there will be you know, proper utilization of human resources into the organization and if the reward strategies are implemented properly then definitely the uh, uh, employees will get motivated and they can achieve the goal or objective of the organization so reward the another important objective or aim of the reward strategy is to create policies and practices that will attract and retain as well as motivate the high performance employees high quality employees because it is necessary to maintain the uh, the retain and as well as to, att to attract the highly qualified employees into the organization because of which the development of organization is possible the structure of re uh, reward strategy what is the structure of reward strategy a statement of intention it is proposed uh, should be uh, taken into the order to achieve it then it is rational it includes a technical statement of the objectives of the strategy and as well as criteria for the success now let us understand what is the definition of guiding principles the values as well as the various rules and regulations which are adopted for formulating the strategies into the organization that is what called as uh, the uh, the various guiding principles the plans indicates what steps have to be taken and as well as uh, which allows uh, to give the training for the employees into the organization these are nothing but the guiding principles content of the reward policy what are the various contents of the reward policy uh, developing high performance culture promoting total reward strategy reward management encouraging continuous uh, personal development personal enhancement and as well as to clarify what behaviors will be rewarded and why because most important part is retention of highly qualified highly talented employees into the organization this brings me to the end of my presentation thank you so much students